tena mtazamaji tuendelee na taarifa zaidi za siku. Hatimaye ripoti ya kamati ya maridhiano imewasilishwa kwenye bunge la taifa huku ikiibua mgawanyiko kwenye muungano wa azimio baada ya kiongozi wa NAC Kenya Martha Karua kutofautiana na kiongozi wa azimio Raila Odinga kuhusu ripoti hiyo akidai haikuangazia masuala muhimu ambayo walikuwa wanayataka. Hata hivyo kiongozi wa walio wachache kwenye bunge la taifa Opio Ndai ametupilia mbali hayo akisema kuwa viongozi wengi wanatoa kauli zao hata baada ama kabla ya kusoma yaliyomo kwenye ripoti hiyo. Daniel Kariuki na mengi zaidi kutoka bunge la taifa. Alhamisi alasiri ripoti iliyozinduliwa wiki mbili zilizopita ya kamati ya pamoja ya mazungumzo iliwasilishwa bungeni na kiongozi wa wengi Kimani Ishongwa a very voluminous document and i would want to urge members to use a recess to go through this report read understand and comment on issues therein wabunge wakianza likizo ndefu wakitarajiwa kurejea bungeni februari mwaka ujao lakini inapowasilishwa bungeni kujadiliwa na wabunge na ikiwasilishwa na kiongozi wa wengi ambaye ndiye anayesukuma shughuli za serikali bungeni upande wa upinzani unaonekana kutofautiana kuhusiana na ripoti hiyo. Akizungumza na wanahabari kiongozi wa NAC Kenya Martha Karua amefutilia mbali ripoti hiyo akisema ilitumia wakati mwingi na fedha za wakenya bila lolote la kufurahiwa na wakenya. But I had also indicated that we are together on all fours so long as we stick to the three deal breakers. So to Azimio we had already agreed that three issues were deal breakers. That's the position na Kenya still holds. Karua ambaye alikuwa mgombea mwenza wa kiongozi wa Azimio Raila Odinga akionekana kumwagia maji taka ripoti hiyo akidai ilikosa kuangazia masala yaliyowafanya wakenya kuandamana na kufikishwa kwa ripoti hiyo bungeni ni dhahiri wana Kenya kwanza ndio wenye msukumo. Rethink a new of strategies to fight back this uncaring regime that looks like it wants to finish Kenyans. Lakini saa chache baadaye na pindi tu ripoti hiyo iliwasilishwa kwenye bunge kiongozi wa wachache opio wandai akikashifu Karua kwa kile alisema ni kutoa kauli zao kuhusu ripoti hiyo kabla ya kuisoma It is responsible for a leader of whatever shade to comment on a report as as important as the Nadco report without having read it. Opio akisema azimio liwakilishwa vilivyo kwenye kamati hiyo na kwamba wanafahamu ripoti hiyo licha ya Karua kudai baadhi ya maswala kwenye ripoti hiyo haukuwa msimamo wa azimio. Na Kenya total rejection. But we remain an integral part of azimio a democratic coalition where dissent. Dissenting doesn't mean disrespect. We differ with respect. Yes. Now the country has got a chance to go through this report and understand it and internalize it and therefore be able to speak from a point of information ikionekana kweli kuna mgogoro kwenye muungano wa azimio hili limeonekana kufungua vuta ni vute kati ya wajumbe kwenye muungano wa azimio kinara wa azimio Raila Odinga amekuwa akionekana kuunga mkono baadhi ya mapendekezo kwenye ripoti hii na hata kupendekeza kura ya maoni huku mgombea mwenza Martha Karua akitofautiana naye sasa ni kibarua kwa wabunge kusoma ripoti hiyo kabla ya kujadili mwaka ujao huku yakisubiriwa ya azimio kutakuwaje wakati utakapofika wa kupitisha au kuangusha ripoti hiyo Daniel Karioki KTN News Nairobi Wasimamizi wa